The Ukrainian president gave a press conference shortly after historic moment, the unification of two Ukrainian Orthodox churches. His opening remarks were dedicated to this moment, and he continued to mention it throughout the two-hour conversation with journalists. According to Petro Poroshenko, the independence of the Ukrainian church is a matter of national importance. Despite the resistance of the Kremlin, Ukraine will receive Thomas beginning of this next year. Thomas. Tomos, and that was confirmed by His Holiness, will be presented on the eve of Christmas, and I believe that this will be the most memorable Christmas in the history of Ukraine. I congratulate everyone on the autocephaly, not only Ukrainians who finally received something they were waiting for so long. This is a very important step in the process of building the state which can be compared to the independence declaration of Ukraine. One more topic that was discussed during the press conference was Russia's aggression in the Donbass. According to the president, an open invasion by Russia would become the only reason to prolong martial law, and that threat might, right now, be more real than ever. This can be proved by the number of Russian troops deployed on the borders of Ukraine. The bulk of Russian troops remained there, and unfortunately they redeployed less than 10% of their troops. If the troops had been redeployed, I would immediately stop the effect of martial law. As of now, we had and continue to have a threat of invasion of the Russian armed forces to the sovereign territory of Ukraine. We must be ready. Poroshenko is certain that Russia never expected Ukraine to gather all of the evidence proving Russian aggression in the Black and Azov Seas. According to the president, Russia has no way to respond or argue, and that is why Putin is refusing to have a press conference. In addition, the issue of freeing Ukrainian political prisoners seems to finally have gotten out of the deadlock it's been stuck in for years. We have received a signal that after the court sessions on the Sentsov and Sushchenko case, it is entirely possible that in the near-term prospects we might agree on the exchange. Even the surnames of those who Russia wants to exchange for Sentsov and Sushchenko are known. I want to stress that I gave a response on the issue. We agree. And this time, as it was other times, the ball is on the court of Russian Federation. The issue of national security, cooperation with NATO and the EU, reforms and the political climate in Ukraine. This is not the complete list of questions that were discussed with journalists from all over the country. But over the two-hour conference, representatives of media asked and got answers for at least 36 questions. Reported by Ihor Medalan, UATV.